Hi all, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will continue to understand the elements of the WIMP interface. So, let's get started. In the previous video, we understood the first four elements of the WIMP interface, which were window, icon, menu, and pointer. In this video, we will understand the next four elements which are widely used in a WIMP interface, which are toolbar, palette, dialog box, and button. Together, these elements of the WIMP interface are called as widgets. So let us understand them one by one. First are the buttons. Buttons are individual and isolated regions within a display that can be selected by the user to invoke a specific operation. Pushing the button invokes a command, the meaning of which is usually indicated by a textual label or a small icon. For example, the magnifying glass indicates the search or find functionality. The save as textual label indicates that this button saves a file. And insert chart functionality is indicated by using both a textual label and an icon. Buttons can also be used to toggle between two states, displaying status information. For example, whether the current font is italicized or not in a word processor. Once a text is selected in a word processor, the I button indicates if the word is italicized or not by highlighting the I button. These buttons can be grouped together to allow a user to select one feature from a set of mutually exclusive options. These are called as radio buttons. For example, selecting yes or no in a web form or selecting font size in a word processor. In both the cases, we can select only one option. If we can select a set of operations which are not mutually exclusive, toggle buttons can be used to indicate the on or off status of these options. This type of collection of buttons is referred to as checkboxes. For example, checkboxes for the days in a week indicate when the alarm should ring or selecting bold, italic and underline options in a word processor. In this case, we can select multiple options at a time. The next widget is Toolbar. A collection of small buttons, each with icons placed at the top or side of the window and offering commonly used functions is called as Toolbar. This is an example of a Toolbar which consists of New File, Open File, Undo and Find operations. The function of this toolbar is similar to a menu bar, but as the icons are smaller than the equivalent text, more functions can be simultaneously displayed. Sometimes the content of the toolbar is fixed, but often users can customize it. As we can see in the above image, there is an option to add more functions to the toolbar. The next widget are palettes. In many application programs, the interaction can enter in one of several modes, for example an edit mode and a view mode. Palettes are the mechanism that makes the set of possible modes and the active mode visible to the user. A palette is usually a collection of icons that are reminiscent of the purpose of various modes. For example, in a drawing application, when we select an area, it opens a palette for 2D selection mode. Here is an example. When we select an area, we can either crop it or use other edit functions. Hence, selecting an area on the canvas opens select and edit mode. The next widget are dialog boxes. Dialog boxes are information windows used by the system to bring the user's attention to some important information, possibly an error or a warning. Alternatively, they are used to invoke a sub-dialog between the user and the system for a very specific task that is normally embedded within some larger task. For example, browse file dialog is a sub-dialog for upload file dialog box. Here is an example. When we want to upload a file, once we click on the upload button, we get this main dialog box where we can either drag and drop the file or choose the file from the file explorer. When we click on choose files button, we get a sub dialog box from where we can select the file from the explorer. 
Thus, Browse File dialog box is a sub dialog for Upload File dialog box. Just as windows are used to separate different threads of work, system dialog are dialog boxes used to factor out auxiliary task threads from the main task dialog. Thus, we have covered the commonly used widgets in a WIMP interface. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching the video. And if you have any doubts, please do let us know in the comment section below. If you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to like and share the video with your friends and subscribe to be the best channel for more such videos. Meet you in the next video of the HMI series. Bye bye.